the question is, is how does Diet Pepsi shrimp work? Well, Diet Pepsi shrimp works great, but you have to know how to use it. Drummer here. Oh, Papa Drum, look at that. Oh, yes, sir. And Josh is here with us today. That's what we're fishing for right there, big fish. Look at that, baby. That ain't a poppin' out, but hey, it's a nice, nice black drum. We love catching drum. Beautiful fish. How big is he? Looks like he's about 17 and a quarter, 17 and a half. Nice fish. All right, to the secret of the game. Some people, if you have shrimp, then you know they're gonna go bad. This shrimp is gonna go bad in time. Easy way to use them when they uh, thaw it out. You don't, can't really thaw them out uh, and then thaw them out take them, freeze them, thaw them out, freeze them. And a couple times, you're pretty much done with it. So one of the big things is, is Diet Pepsi, uh, not Diet Coke, but Diet Pepsi, uh, gives you the ability to, has something in it that uh, goes ahead and ferments the, uh, the shrimp so you can use them uh, and it keeps them a little bit. But this is how you do it. So you're gonna start with your Diet Pepsi. This is how I do it. I don't have another container right now, but right now what I do is I have diet, my Diet Pepsi, pour a little out, and then what I do is, when I'm getting ready to go home, I'm going to just cut the shrimp. I'm just going to put him in, go into two pieces typically. And that's going to foam over. And I'm going to just keep cutting these until I got all my shrimp done. Leave the legs on it, leave the head on it, or leave the, take the head off, leave the legs on it. Just cut the head off and the tail. Cut him in half or if it's a big one, and I just drop him in there. And on over time, now I'm gonna just leave this in this little container, in this uh, Diet Pepsi overnight, and then uh, in the fridge, I'm not gonna freeze it. So they're just sitting down there just uh, doing their thing. And what I'm gonna do when I get home is I'll just, I'll put this in the fridge for overnight, and then I will pull them out, I'll cut the top off of this, uh, and then I can recycle the bottle. And then I put it in a, a little plastic uh, Rubbermaid container and then they're ready to go and then I put them in the freezer and then they're frozen solid. But I don't freeze them in the Diet Pepsi. So a little bit of information. That is just going to make those shrimp just a little rubbery. It's going to give them a little scent and the bite is amazing uh, on them. A lot of people have been talking about it. I got uh, the information uh, from my wife or one of her colleagues, uh, Dr. Crosby. Uh, older guy that works at uh, Jacksonville University uh, told her and I started doing it about five years ago but it really works and today let's see if it worked I have all the baits but oh look at that a nice big 17 and a half inch black drum so you can't uh, can't fold it but I use you don't need a big two liter you just need a little bottle uh, to do that so once again Diet Pepsi shrimp it works get out there keep your shrimp don't uh, don't waste them uh, easy way to uh, reuse them again, so. There we are. Another drum, I think. Yeah, what do we got? Oh, we got a little happy. Coming 
being honest. Here comes the big wave and back him up. Look at that, another little black drum. There we are. Keeper number two. Let's see how big he is. 15 and three quarters. Another beautiful. Gosh, yeah. Beautiful black drum. Beautiful. Look at it. All right, 24 hours in. Now we've got uh, this Diet Pepsi shrimp that uh, we need to take out of here, dry it off, make sure that uh, everything's good. I use this recycling bottle. What I'm gonna first do is I'm just gonna pour the Diet Pepsi out. So I don't have any more Diet Pepsi. You can do this on the beach, which makes it uh, a lot better. If you're on the beach, obviously you're chumming the water uh, with shrimp flavored Diet Pepsi. So uh, there are some uh, people that do when boating, fishing in a boat, they do uh, use uh, some coke, so I don't know if that's it. Got a pair of the scissors that uh, we have on the online store. We're just going to pop that in there. We're going to just cut this off. And now we've got these Diet Pepsi shrimp. Really firm, beautiful. Going to stay on your hook real nice. Uh, got a little bit of uh, color. They even got the legs on them. See, that's pretty important to, to, for freshness. So when you're looking at it in there, it's perfect. So just gonna once more dump that all out. Then I'm just gonna dry them off. I just have a little container here. I'm gonna dry them off. And then I'm gonna put them in this uh, little container. So then on the beach, they're ready to rock and roll and uh, put right on the hook. So I'm gonna switch views here and we're gonna go right to the process here. Now we see that shrimp, see that shrimp, that's beautiful looking shrimp. They're already pre-cut, they're already ready to go. They're hard, they're not soft after two days being thawed out. So that Diet Pepsi's made them pretty hard. Um, don't ask me what's in it, I'm not a scientist. Uh, I could probably figure it out. But also, I threw a couple pieces of my clam that I had left over in there too. So we'll see if that works, I don't know. Never done that before, but we're just gonna dry them off to the best of our ability and then put them in our little container here. And you can hear them. Still, still nice and firm. So that's what we're looking for. And we're just gonna put them in there, be ready to, ready to go when we're on the beach. One of the big things is if you're not ready to go and you're cutting shrimp all the time, you got less time to be able to put your bait on the hook. So right here, it's already done, ready for you. And that was a pound of shrimp with heads on it and a couple pieces of clam. But that's what it looks like. Pretty simple. Get out there, try it one time. If it doesn't work for you, it's okay. We, uh, everybody's, it's, it's sometimes for some people, sometimes it's not. But Diet Pepsi shrimp does work and that's how you prepare it. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor. Go ahead and hit subscribe down below. Turn those notifications on. Turn that little ringer on for us. Lots of good content coming. The fish are coming their way towards Jacksonville. It is going to be on. Until then, we're out. Okay, Miss Rubes, do you want to uh, you want to watch to see how to put this on there? Miss Ruby's uh, usually my sounding board if it's any good. So when I get my shrimp, I'm just going to grab my shrimp out of the container. Pretty easy to do. Put the lid back on it. Put it back in my cooler. You're just gonna go boom, one through once, and you can see how firm that is, back through, just like that. Super simple, and it is not coming off there. If you have a, if you have a feeling about um, having trouble throwing your line off, like I said, we have this new bait thread too, uh, online. And how that works is you're just gonna put it around there just like that, grab a hold of it, 
and oh, grab a hold of it and you're just going to tie that right to the hook just like that boom 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 and then just pull it off just like that bait threads intact ready to rock and roll pretty simple but that uh, gives you the ability to stay on if you're using the fresh shrimp might not need it for the Diet Pepsi shrimp, but you might. It's all up to you guys. Good luck out there, tight lines. Say that again? I said you had pretty decent luck today, huh? Yeah, I got a couple black drum, nice black drum. Cool. Yeah. Now, what would a black drum size be? Three, four pounds or five pounds? Uh, this one's probably, these two in here, the small one's probably two pounds, oh, wow. the bigger one is probably, probably three and a half pounds. That is awesome. Yeah, so, now, how will you fix him? Will you roll him uh, or? Uh, I will. Bake him? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll batter him and put him on a sandwich. Black, black drum sandwich is my favorite. Sweet. Yeah, I'll put it, uh, I'll cook it in the air fryer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a little light batter and then put it on a sandwich. Cool. Sounds it's a nice, good. It's a nice big flaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't have a real super fishy. Yeah, thing. and it'll take any flavor that you want. So. Right, awesome. Yeah, so. Throw a little hot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Have a great day.